My name is Leila, and I'm making a documentary on the desperate women of Iran. I'm Farah, and I'm a prostitute. Dog, I'd cry for you forever, but I couldn't, so I didn't. Unfortunately, in Iran, women who are single are not only marginalized by everyone within society, but trapped within the circumstances that make it difficult to progress or flourish on one's own, ultimately perpetuating the circle of subordination faced by these women. So, Farah, why did you become a prostitute? After the war, my husband died and there was nothing else, there was no other choice for me. Um, I had to support myself and my son and as a single woman of my age there's not many options left to us. So what consists of your daily activities? What do you get up and do each morning? In the mornings I get up and try and take care of my son and then um, head around the city looking for odd jobs, <laughs> trying my best to find something to be able to do and then at night I with my last option. Which is working the streets. <laughs> How do you feel at the end of the day? Um, I'm not exactly happy with the way my life has turned out, but I do what I have to to support myself and my son. And this is true of a lot of Iranian women. I'm not the only one who shares my faith. Stop, you're under arrest. But no, I have a permit, look. Like... No, no, you're slandering the Iranian government. What's going on here? I, I was arrested last night and this is absurd. Why are you holding me? Um, after a careful review of your previous movies and your current one, we have found several problems with them listed here. Um, but there has been some slandering of the government. Slandering of the government? I, I'm just trying to realistically depict the hardships that Iranian women go through. We also disagree with that. Um, your current documentary about prostitutes, uh, we don't believe it's very realistic at all. It's realistic. It, it's accurate. I'm portraying what the government always silence. It's, it's these expectations for women. And it's, it's the authentic representation and portrayal of these women and what they have to go through every day just to obtain just some sense of equality within this society. Well, we here at the government do not believe that. We believe you're focusing on a very narrow, um, crazy part of the population. You're creating a very derogatory view of Iran. Um, if anyone outside of Iran, including and people inside Iran, sees this video, they're going to get the wrong impression. We don't agree with this. It's not derogatory. This is, this is real. This is what women actually have to go through every day. This is real hardship. I'm just trying to make a documentary to depict this. I don't understand. Well, look at it this way. You have two options. You can either continue to make movies and get arrested, or you can discontinue making movies and you can find another job. So I'm just supposed to give up on my filmmaking? Yes. This is this is this is what I spent my entire life doing. I just I just
want to portray your wrong the way it is? Well, sometimes it's better to portray things the way they should be instead of the way they are. Am I free to go? Yes. I'm actually, they told me I can't film anymore. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Well, 